by the hospital to take Robin a change of clothes. She was sleeping, but the hospital told me that she can check out today, and I know Robin. She's going to want to leave as soon as she wakes up, so you need to get yourself together so you can go over there and stop her. What the hell, Jason? Did I, did I spend last night confiding in you about Robin to make myself feel better? I don't think so. Robin needs a friend to convince her that therapy is a good idea. I can't. I'll make some calls. I'll talk to Ms. Howard, and I'll get back to you after lunch, okay? Thanks. Hello. Is Maxie here? Oh. Uh, no. No. Okay. I'll wait. She would hate to ask me. Not that she would ever admit that, but... That kind of attitude will not win you any points with Maxie. Oh, she likes me. As soon as she admits it, we can move on to this whole chase thing and move on to the whole fun thing. Robin has always fought to stay alive. Like, how she dealt with her HIV, she could have given up, but she didn't. This postpartum thing has gotten her seriously messed up, and I think she needs some serious help. That's where you come in. Robin has a lot of people who care about her. Like you. You can tell her to go to the doctor. I'm not that person, okay? I can't do it. I can't? What does that even mean? I, I, can't. I went through treatment after my head injury, psychiatric as well as physical. I hated every second of it. You're not Robin? That's my point. <sighs> I'm sure you were no picnic for the doctors well, you either. Know what? The doctors always talked down to me. They thought they had all the answers. They didn't have the answers for me, so I'm the wrong person to go tell Robin to do when it comes to this situation. After everything Robin's done for you, I think she deserves more than your standard excuse for doing nothing at all. Robin does not need another person telling her what to do. You guys loved each other once. I remember. I mean, I, I was a little kid, but... You were the one that convinced Robin to go on the HIV protocol, and that saved her life. Robin made the choice. All I did was help her get there. So help her again, please, Jason, at least for Emma. I mean, that little girl deserves a mom who's not so trashed by depression. She can't even go near her own baby. And don't tell me that is Robin making a choice, because you know she would never choose to be a lousy mother. Turn off the warfarin and administer the injectables until surgery. Yeah, and make sure I have two vials of the coagulant gel in the OR tomorrow. Yes, I will see you in the morning. Well, it's nice to know you're not as clueless about medicine as you are about Maxie. Maxie likes to pretend she's a lot more complicated than she really is. I cannot argue there. Right. I think get the rest of the samples that Kate wanted. They're amazing. You're, you're tracking hospital germs to my workspace. I'm sure you have a really good reason why he's sitting here. He wanted to see you. Yeah, it's true. Okay, well, now you've seen me, and you can go. Uh, my obligations to this magazine are so important, you can't be here. <clears throat> well, that's good, because I need you and Johnny to make a PR appearance in Soho. Oh, what perfect timing, because I could use a change of scenery. I can't reach Johnny. Text him. Uh, his phone must be off. Doesn't he know he needs to be reachable 24-7? Uh, I'll try to reach him. <laughs> Oh, are you implying that you would be able to reach Johnny when I can't? Okay, children, stop the bickering. It wastes time and solves nothing. I think Maxie should take the doctor. Hunter. Problem solved. Punishment for taking a couple of hours to do a good deed? This never would have happened if I had been at the phones. I, I bet you didn't even try to call Johnny. Remind me not to cover for you again. <laughs> if this is how you cover, no one needs it. Enough, you two. The gallery opening is not going to wait while you two bicker. So as it happens, I happen to have the afternoon off, so I'd love to help you out, Ms. Howard. Oh, that's fantastic. You know what? I'm going to take you up on that because I do not have time to hire a professional. But Johnny and I are Crimson's signature couple, and you can't replace that. Oh, actually, Maxie, everyone is replaceable. Everyone. Yes, you and Johnny are so 24 hours ago. You know, I sort of like the idea of throwing in somebody new, making people wonder. Oh, him! I, 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 I could go with Ethan. Um, he's edgy and mysterious, and he has an accent, so that, you know, shakes things up. <sighs> yes, it would be a choice. I, I vote for the doctor. You don't get to vote. Well, Ethan can't go out with Maxie. Why not, Lulu? Because Ethan is here to take me out on our first date. You do not have a date with Ethan. Oh, I certainly do. Well, you're going to have to let it go because Kate wants him with me. I'm sorry, Kate. 
I've been about Team Crimson for a while now, and everybody knows that I didn't like Johnny and Maxie going out on their fake dates, but I went along with it. For God's sake, I had to copy photos and order limos and pretend that it didn't hurt. Every single time Johnny went from club to club, did I complain endlessly? I sucked it up for the good of the magazine, even though it created problems for Johnny and I. Lulu, does Johnny know you have a date with Ethan? Well, with all the times that Maxie has been going out with Johnny, I think it's only fair that Lulu gets to step out with um, Ethan. It, I could not agree more. I, I mean, I wouldn't be causing any problems. Nobody expects Ethan. I think do Dr. Hunter is a great substitute. Wait, wait. I, I can work with Ethan. At least I can pretend like I could stand to be around him. <laughs> it's a job, Maxie. Suck it up. Yeah, Lulu's right. I never said you had to enjoy it. What about chemistry? It's not fair to ask me to make all the sacrifices in this office. No, no, we wouldn't want to inconvenience your personal life for something as insignificant as Crimson's public profile. All right, look, this is a low-profile event, and Dr. Hunter is certainly good-looking enough. But I want to be very clear. I am getting really sick and tired of all the hearts and flowers and everybody putting such significance on this personal arrangement, all right? So, Maxie, you take Dr. Hunter, and your wardrobe is waiting for you. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Should be fun. And, uh... Just for the record, I'm not a hearts and flowers kind of guy. Well, that's a relief. When we get to that gallery, you better not say one word. 